Monty Kerr, Chief Engineer of the Siena. And we are here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, in Toyota's North America Research and Design Headquarters in the Safety Test Building. So what we have here before us is the fourth generation Siena, but it's actually all new from the ground up, and it has a new electrical platform. Because it's all new, we had a huge opportunity to reconsider what a minivan is. To start out with, we went and listened to our customers, people who buy minivans today, who own minivans, people who have SUVs, but are thinking about a minivan. And what we heard from them surprised us. That there are a lot of people out there that recognize that they need a minivan, but just can't quite get themselves to buy it. And when we probed a little deeper, we found it was really the image of the minivan that was keeping them from jumping in. So our primary goal for this all new minivan was to change the image, to make it more bold, more athletic, and to have more of a stance. And if you look at this one, I think we've really done that. One of the biggest challenges early was getting our executives to believe that we could really do what we were planning to do. So when we told the executives that we wanted to take the minivan and make it a little less boxy, bring the A-pillar rearward, put some tumble home, give it some stance, improve the proportions, add some shoulder, we met a lot of skepticism. They were challenging us, saying, how can you uh, keep the spaciousness that a minivan needs and do these things to make it look good? So with that skepticism, we decided to make some models. Uh, Calthi made an exterior model, and we made a, an engineering interior model that met all of the dimensions and showed that we could do what we'd planned to do, make a minivan that was both bold and spacious. This is the result here. So we obviously got it approved, and we think it really is what's best for our customers. This is an all new minivan from the ground up, and it was really exciting. For me, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity the platform won't be changed for several years. We, we may do some tweaks to it, but the general platform is set. So it was really important for us to get involved early. And in the first, uh, in that platform development phase, this is a global minivan platform. We are the lead vehicle. So I spent the first year and a half of the project in Japan with the platform team, making sure that we got all of our North American needs into it. One of the most important features was deciding what type of rear suspension we wanted in this minivan. The current generation has a, a torsion beam, which uh, is lightweight, lower cost, but it has limitations for performance. So we really wanted to improve the way the Raiden handling is in this vehicle. And we looked at several options and finally decided on what we have, which is a trailing arm double wishbone. It really is the best for this type of vehicle. And it was heavy and it costs some money, we had the budget for it. But to me, it's, it's the thing I'm really proud of with the platform, getting that right, because it's really been the difference in the way this minivan performs. So one of the other things we could do by getting involved early with the platform was to influence the floor height. It was something we wanted to do for the North American market was to make the floor lower for better ingress and egress from the second row. It also gives more spaciousness inside. One of the things keeping us from lowering the floor was the spare tire, which on the current gen is under the floor. You have to crank it, you use a tool that you install on the floor, you crank it down and it lowers, and then you have to fish it out from under the vehicle. By being involved in that early platform phase, we were able to put in that direction, move the spare tire to the rear quarter area, lower the floor, and have uh, best ingress, egress. So in North America, our partnership with the design studio, Calty, is really critical. Calty you know, starts in North Newport Beach with their ideation, where they're a little bit farther from us. But as we develop the project and get approval, they move here to Ann Arbor, where they're right next to engineering. And that's really important. So a lot of the things that we did on this vehicle caused us to kind of reconsider structures and, and how we do things on minivans. So we had to redesign several things. The style challenged our engineers on. And then sometimes our engineers are challenging styling. So it's a lot of good back and forth. And one of the key portions of the vehicle that I think really shows this well is the center console bridge. The bridge that connects the center console up with the IP. It enables us to achieve a confident cockpit feel. That was something that was new for us. Challenged our engineers to consider the appropriate structure. 
And our engineers also challenged Calte to make sure that we had all the appropriate ergonomics so that things could be reached, that knee space was sufficient, and the end result, I think, really speaks to itself. But we've achieved a completely new feel on the inside, a really fresh new feel, and we meet all the engineering requirements. So a couple of things that I'm proudest of for this minivan. Number one is the exterior look. I really feel like we did achieve that uh, earth shattering look. We really wanted to, to make something that is new and fresh, completely different for a minivan. Another point that I'm really proud of is the third row seating. And we've done such a great job with the first two rows that the third row gets overlooked. But it's actually improved in comfort. And it's actually the most comfortable third row in a minivan or SUV. Some of the ways we did that was we raised the height so that your, your legs can sit. You know, in a lot of other SUVs or minivans, the third row is almost on the floor. You're basically sitting on the floor back there. So we've raised the height. We also uh, added adjustability to the back. It really made it a, a, a space that is comfortable. In fact, we uh, improved the comfort so that it fits 95th percentiles. You can now have three rows of 95th percentile Americans in this minivan. And we did that by increasing the space between the front row and the third row, so you have more knee room and leg room. One of the features that I'm really excited about on here is the inverter, which makes this vehicle a 1500 watt power generator. We have the large battery and we have a lot of the electronics already in place. So we just have to add an inverter and take advantage of all that equipment that's already there. And it allows us to then power all kinds of things. Achieving this strong shoulder and flare was actually a real challenge for our engineering team. Most minivans are flat, slab-sided, which means the sliding door doesn't have to open out very far. But with all this 3D shape, when we open this door, it has to come out substantially farther, which means the hinge arms are longer and there's a larger mass moment. To overcome that, so that we can keep all the, the rollers and the motor the same size, we changed the material from steel to aluminum. Aluminum, of course, is much lighter in weight. It helps with lowering the overall weight of the vehicle and enabled this style. Thank you for joining us today. This has been a really fun project for me and we're really looking forward to how this does in the market. Thank you.